All right, so we got Star Wars Outlaws story trailer development breakdown. Let's go to the video. Hello. Developer breakdown. Star Wars Outlaws story trailer development. All right, let's breakdown. go. Today, I'm going to give you more information about what if you guys haven't already. Story trailer, my reaction to the story trailer is out now. And criminal syndicate. Go watch it. Each of you represents some of the most powerful criminal organizations. In oh, isn't this guy Sl Slero? Is one of the Slero, yes. Living in Canto Bight and leading his own burgeoning Look at this school threat. criminal syndicate, Zarek Besh. Zarek Slero Besh. organized this gathering of syndicates as a demonstration of that power and to show that his organization, Zarek Besh, should not be crossed. Did he just spit some? age for the underworld. Uh -oh. In the golden age of crime syndicates, the syndicates in Star Wars Outlaws are spread across the Outer Rim. Oh, so it's like and Gotham in space. Okay. Everywhere. It's like they Gotham. previously <laughs> shared that the Pike Syndicate the Hutt Cartel, and the Ashiga Clan, which is a new syndicate created in close collaboration between Massive Entertainment and Lucasfilm Games, are in the game. Oh, Today, nice. we got to reveal that the elegant and sophisticated, yet highly dangerous syndicate, Crimson Dawn, will also be a key player in the underworld. Oh, huh, okay. A lot of cool characters. Hey. Across the Outer Rim, Kay will build her reputation and form tense and ever-changing alliances with each of these syndicates. Yeah. Which will offer varying gameplay and narrative opportunities depending on... I can't wait to see the gameplay, bro. Whether providing you access to some of the most lucrative jobs in the galaxy... Oh my good, bro! down if you double-crossed them. What do you want? Zarek Besh. You crossed their boss, Slero, and now he wants you gone. Jalen is somewhat of a mentor for Kay. He's a oh. scoundrel that has a lot of experience scoundrel. In the world, and he sees potential. <laughs> Rob his fortune, buy your freedom. Jalen offers Kay her one shot at ultimate freedom to pull off one of the greatest heists the galaxy has ever seen. As a member of the galaxy's elite, Slero's mansion is heavily fortified by his mansion security and his own personal sense. That's like, but it's like three spaceships. After a failed job, Slero doesn't take kindly to Kay placing a bounty on her head and sending one of the galaxy's best bounty hunters, Vale, to hunt her down. He put a honey care on her neck. Death wish. The legendary Hut Cartel represent one of the criminal syndicates that Kay will encounter during her journey across the Outer Rim. Uh-oh. Kay and Nyx will come face to face with their leader Jabba in his iconic throne room on Tatooine. Okay. But the Hut presence will be felt across other locations and planets too, where you will meet some new faces of the Hut Cartel. So okay. You need to be careful as your reputation will follow you. Out here you live and die by your reputation. Whose voice is that? Real power in the underworld in each of the locations K and Nix will visit on their journey. Their impact and influence will be felt wherever you go. From the I don't know why, but I like, I like her hair. Jobs you take on, the support you receive, and even the access you have to certain territories. This job is my one shot at freedom. All right. To rob Slero's mansion alone would be impossible. That's not a mansion. Even if Kay and Nix got in, they wouldn't be getting out. In order to pull off the job, Kay and Nix will need to travel across the Outer Rim to find skilled outlaws and convince them to join her in Oh, snap. Okay, so she got to get a team. Okay. There's a lot of fun and exciting characters that you'll meet on your journey. Okay. Some of whom... He looks familiar. Hang on. Hi, hi. Because you were one of the best hunters in the Outer Rim. Raised in the Underworld, Vale has had a toe in every syndicate vale? has learned from each of them. Because of her experience, she looks like a school threat. Vale is a formidable adversary for Kay. She can fight, pilot, hunt, smuggle, anything she needs to do in order to pull off a job. Oh, she's a demigod. Best is mixed up in something bigger. Kay grew up alone, fighting for scraps in the workers' district of Canto Bight, relying on her skills as a thief and Nyx. Hey, these cutscenes are nice in there. Kay has Obviously, it's like a movie game, so. ...against people like her, and has always dreamt of a life beyond Kanto, where she does not answer to anyone. This okay. job is her opportunity to make her dream a reality, and to finally be truly free. Oh, my God. Star Wars All right. Boss pre-order available now. Oh man, oh man. Listen, all I'm waiting for is the gameplay. That's all I listen. Now, here's what I'll say, right? I would pre-order it right now. I mean, listen, we do got like a few months to go uh, you know, until the game comes out. Well, 
it comes out August 30th. Well, let's just say September 1st, you know, just, just to like, you know, just to be fancy about it. We do got a couple months until the game comes out. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I would pre-order it right now. Uh, I am excited for the game. But, okay, I've made a lot of mistakes pre-ordering games um, just off of just pure excitement rather than, you know, me getting like the full, you know, uh, piece of the pie. Let's just say that, you know, because, yes, I'm excited for the story. Um, and yes, I am, you know, excited for like the overall just game just in general, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm waiting for that gameplay. I'm waiting for that gameplay. I l listen, I know, and I know they probably gonna like give us like a, uh, like a gameplay trailer probably what next month or like a, like a month after because the game's gonna come out in August. So, uh, definitely we got like, we definitely got, um, uh, like a gameplay trailer coming through. We might have, uh, like a 10 minute, 20 minute, like, you know, full gameplay, uh, like mission or whatever um, coming through as well. So we'll see. I'm just waiting for the gameplay. That's all I'm waiting for. Uh, if Listen, if I would have saw gameplay and I would have liked it, I would have bit, brother, I would have pre-ordered this before pre-order was a thing, bro. Like, for real, I, honestly, bro, I would have got my dibs in before, you know, you can actually get your dibs in in any game, honestly, bro. So we'll see how it is. Um, hopefully, you know, Ubisoft, you know, they can clutch it up, you know, with the gameplay. Um, and, yeah, man, I... That, that's all. That's why, like, I didn't pre-order it right now. It's because I'm waiting for the gameplay, you know? So, we'll, we'll you know, listen. We'll see how it goes. Um, looking at it, like, looking at the story and stuff like that. I mean, you know what? The uh, the the narrative director, what's the guy's name again? I, I, I forgot the guy's, like, the narrative director's name. Uh, what, what was it? Was it, like, Naveed? Naveed? Is, is that his name? Hopefully I didn't say it wrong. Uh, but I like how he explained the story, but he didn't give us, like, he didn't just spoil it, you know, because, like... You know, we've reacted to, like, you know, a couple, like, of, like, these, like, breakdowns and stuff like that. And they would just, like, just spoil it. Like, without even knowing that they spoil it, they would just spoil it. So, I respect that, like, he uh, showed everybody's name and stuff like that. Um, and so, we got Crimson Dawn. I don't know what it is for her. Like, I'm going to say a few things. That's when I'm going to get out your face. I don't know what it is with her, Crimson Dawn. But I, I feel like she, she seems, like, mysterious. I can't lie. We got, uh, so, the main character's name is actually K. K Vess. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I like her hair, by the way. I don't know why, but her hair looks really, her hair looks really cool. It's like down here, it looks like video game ish, if you know what I'm saying. But like up here, it looks, it look, it looks like kind of real. I can't lie. Uh, if you guys don't know, this is actually like a, um, well, in in my eyes, I call like these type of games like like movie games, uh, to where like you know, you would uh. It's kind of like a normal video, like video game, or like whatever, to where like you know you go to a mission, do a mission, da 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 da, and then cutscene, and then obviously like you have like the little movie bars and stuff like that. Then like you have these high definition graphics, you know, uh, cutscenes and stuff like that. Um, I call those movie games. So like uh, Star Wars: That Survivor was a movie game to me. Uh, this is gonna be like a movie game. I would say, you know what. I was about to say God of War is like a movie game, but you know what? I'll, I'll say it. I'll say God of War is like a movie game because their cutscenes are, are are really cool too. I'm gonna just be honest with you. Um, but other than that, I'm really excited about this. Uh, as soon as I get word on the gameplay, if you guys listen, if, if there's gameplay out or whatever, send it to me now ASAP. As soon as I get word on the gameplay, uh, we, listen, we're, we're gonna sit here, we're gonna react to the gameplay, we're gonna watch the gameplay, we're gonna give our takes on it, and then. Uh, the pre-order will begin. So you guys are next one about comment down below. What do you guys think about Star Wars Outlaws coming later this year? And I'm